Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial. And on this one, we need to talk about the groove and the shuffle. So what is shuffle? You know, what is shuffle? So shuffle, um, what it means, it's gonna, it means that it's gonna move some notes closer to the next ones. Uh, and this is just gonna create that shuffle. Of course, depends on how many notes you're playing. Uh, it depends on which notes you need to move. You know, depends on the groove. So I'm gonna go and just show you what I have right here. I have a one eight groove. And I have a 116 group. So first I'm gonna show you the one one eight. It's gonna go and play it. And a pretty basic group. We can all relate to this one, right? If I go to the 116, this one is gonna be a little bit different. So what's the difference? Of course, we are playing 1-8, we are playing 116. So if it's 1-8, it means that we have a grid of 1-8 in this case, you know, and I'm you know, we could have whatever grid. But in this case, we are playing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And on the other one, we are playing 16. It's one, two, three, four times four, 16. You know, and this is very important because whenever we need, we use the, sh the shuffle and the groove, uh, it's gonna matter. Um, okay, so, you know, how can we make this work? So first we're gonna start with the one, eight groove. So again, this is a very basic groove. So I want to give it a little bit of groove, you know, a little bit of shuffle. So right from the start, when you go to play, here's the option. If it's disabled, it's not gonna do anything. Whenever it's enabled, it's gonna do something. You can pin it to the top bar. And this is the global shuffle. You have a, di a different way of, you know, enabling shuffle. I'm gonna talk about that later. So, of course, now it's nothing is happening. So you have a rate of 1.8 or 116. So if you're uh, playing on a 1.8 groove, uh, maybe we want to use this one. And if you are in 116, maybe we want to use this one. If we want to get that, you know, the shuffle. So okay, for in this case, we are doing 1-8 and I'm gonna go there and just play. Now there, I'm gonna go to the beginning. If I go up, notice that it's kind of a, it has a different way. So this is a shuffle. Is that groove, that feel, shuffle feel. So what is happening, you know, what is doing behind the scenes to make it the shuffle? So what it's doing, it's moving every other note closer to the next one. If this is in 1-8, it's gonna go and take the uh, the even one, sorry, and it's just gonna move it closer to the next one, which is this one. And these ones are gonna stay untouched. Sometimes they might just grow a little bit because we are moving this one, but in this case, you know, we, that's just not gonna happen. So let me just go back to the beginning. So what it does behind the scenes, it's moving this a little bit like this. This is what it's doing. Now I'm moving something like that, and then something like that. So if I go and disable the groove, we get the same thing. So this is what it's doing behind the scenes. It's moving this one's closer to the next one. Okay. Now the thing is that when we are doing the global shuffle, we cannot really see what's going on, right? We just cannot see it. If I enable, we can hear it, but we cannot see it. Now, of course, you can go really aggressive on this one. We just can do just a tiny bit. I'm gonna go really aggressive because on this one, I have a recorded kind of a recorder kind of a ready. This one is listening to whatever this uh, this uh, track is doing. So if I do rec and play, it's going to record everything that this is just, you know, outputting. And if I go here, notice that it's just doing the same thing we did. This one, it's closer, and I'm gonna go to 1.8 so we can have the same example. This one is closer to the next one. This is what the shuffle means in this case, and the one, the 1.8. Now notice that these ones are just a little bit, uh, kind of a little bit longer. It's just making them a little bit longer. And it makes sense. Since it's moving this, you know, everything to the to the left, this one is just a little bit longer. Okay, so this is how it sounds and what it does behind the scenes. So, of course, when you do a 1-8 shuffle, you're gonna need to select 1-8, and if you do 1-16, you're gonna notice no change because we don't, we're not playing one, a 1 16 shuffle. If I do the same thing, go right here and do the recording thing, we're gonna notice that, you know, nothing is gonna happen. Okay, if I go there, Notice that nothing happened. The only thing it's doing is making these notes longer. Notice that they are longer. They are not 1.8. Actually, they are longer than 1.16. They are just a little bit longer of, you know, from what we had. But they are just a little bit longer. But essentially, it's just the same thing. We are just playing the same notes, not moving anything closer to anything. 
And it's because this is a 1.8 and we don't have a 1.16. So let's check the 1.16. But the 1.16, 1 of course, is going to sound a little bit different. So I'm going to go there, loop, and I'm going to disable the groove. And I play it. And this is what we get. You know, we don't, we don't get anything because the, of course, groove is kind of a turned off. If I enable groove, I'm still not getting anything. Oh, it's because, you know, we're going to talk about this in a minute. Notice how it sounds. It sounds very different. And again, we are very being very aggressive. If I go to 50%, it's something more normal. And we are getting this sound is, you know, the shuffle, but with 116. If we do the same thing than before and we kind of uh, record this. All right, so I'm going to go there and just see what's going on. And let me just put 116 right then, right there. So there we go. So the first one, it's, you know, the first ones are just there on the same position. But then the other ones are being moved. This one is on the same position. Notice that this one is on the same position, but this one and this one are being moved closed to the next one. And of course, since this one, uh, it's being moved, the, by, by default, the groove is just kind of a making this one longer. Uh, this is, again, the way it works. So again, this one is being moved. And since it's being moved, it's going to sound different. We're going to have this groove feel. So of course, uh, the behind the scenes, what we had from before is going to be something like this, which is very different. Everything else stays the same, but this ones are going kind of a closer to the next one. And we can really see it here. And then again, this is how it sounds. All right? All right. So this is what it means. You get the shuffle, how much you want to do. When you do 1-8 on 1-8 shuffle, you're going to get that feel. And you, when you do 1-16, you get that feel. Now, whenever you go faster on a groove that is slower in this case, um, it's just, you know, not going to do anything. But if you go slower on something that has the notes that, you know, are required uh, to do the shuffle, you're going to get a different sound. So, for example, if we do 116, and we know, again, we're doing 116. If I do 18, it's going to sound like that, because it's trying to do the same thing. It's going to the 18 and just moving it closer. But at the same time, when it moves uh, everything closer, it's just moving the other notes. And if we, you know, go here, disable the loop, and we record it. Again, remember, it's going to the 8, and it's just moving them. Now, since, of course, it's moving some notes, the ones that are you kind know, of besides, uh, you know, the ones that are after the first one are being moved as well. That's why we get this, this sound. So everything is depends on, depends on what you want to do. So, of course, uh, this is the global groove. Whenever you enable this one, everything you do right here is going to be the same throughout the whole DAW, the whole production. Now, uh, of course, maybe you don't want to use it, so and you want to have it enabled. So every MIDI clip can be disabled or enabled from here. So let's say I want this shuffle just in the 16. I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe gonna go and play everything. And the first one, let me just disable this. Uh, the first one, I don't want it shuffled, and the second one, I do want it shuffled. And I'm gonna e enable the 116. So I'm gonna go and play it. No shuffle. Shuffle. Yeah, so you can enable and disable uh, each clip in, uh, individually. Okay, so I'm going to loop the 1 8, right? Now the shuffle is enabled, this one, and I'm going to turn off the accent and leave it on 1 8 for now. So the accent, what it does is going to do or is going to accent, accentuate uh, some parts. I'm going to go all the way up. Nothing happens. I'm going to change the face. Nothing happens. 1 4, 1 16, nothing happens. And this is because this one works with the option you have right here called accent. And this one again will accent, uh, you know, accentuate some parts. So you can go positive, you can go negative, and we're going to see the difference. So uh, I will enable this, the groove right now. We get that shuffle, and I'm going to go up. Remember, I'm doing uh, something with boxing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it right there because you know it's already pretty aggressive. Notice that we are getting an accent 
on this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. But everything else gets lower. It's much lower. And this is because we are going positive. Since we are po going to positive, this one's on the groove, you know, remember? The evens are just going to get, you know, much louder. Now I'm going to go and do the opposite. Now we get the opposite. These ones are louder and these ones are just not. You just, you know, we drop the volume on, the, on those ones. So of course this is depends on what you want to do. Maybe you want to do a little bit of accent and just kind of drop the volume down on these ones and you're going to get, you know, this this vibe. Now, of course, you have other options. What happens if I go to 1-4? If I go to 1-4, notice that it's not doing the 1-8. Which ones are the, the, one, the, the ones getting the accent? And notice that we are going negative. It's this one and this one. On 1-8, this, 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 and this are getting the accent. But in 1-4, this one and this one. Now, we are going positive. So if we go negative... It's just this one and this one. Yeah. And this is a call. Of course, it's because we are doing one eight. So if we go to one sixteen, we don't have it because we're going to go and accentuate that one that we don't have. But of course, if we go and flip it to the other side, everything gets louder because these ones are not getting accentuated. But the other ones are. And it's because we are doing a 1-8 shuffle, but we are doing a 116 accent. And that's just not gonna work. I'm gonna go to 1-8. And we are doing a negative. So these ones are getting, I'm going down, volume. And then you have the face. So okay. So I'm gonna do the other thing. I'm gonna go and do the positive. So now these ones get the accent, right? But if you think about it, you know, uh, the kick and snare should sound a little bit louder. So you can kind of uh, move the face. And this is going to kind of uh, fix that issue. It's going to just kind of uh, offset or move the accent. And now we are getting what we wanted. You know, the kick and the snare are just louder. Even though we are doing a 1-8 and we are doing a positive. And the other one is not. The thing is that, of course... Whenever you go too much on the face, we are back to the kind of at the beginning. These ones are louder and these ones are not. So same thing happens with the 116. Now, if we go and do the same example, going to play there, make sure you enable the shuffle, everything gets at zero. I'm going to go there and I'm going to do 116 shuffle. Going to go back and notice that we don't get the same kind of a behavior. If I go to 116, and I'm gonna go there. We are getting an accent on, on the ones are, that are getting moved. If I go the other way, everything that is not being kind of a move gets the accent. Same thing we did on the one eight. All right. Okay. So that's it. That's that's the that's the shuffle. That's the shuffle. So right now I uh, have an arb right here, and this is how it sounds. arm so if i go in notice that we have a 116 right so we have a 16 notes 16 notes all over the place notice that we are 116 and on every one we are just playing something okay so we can do some groove right here right we can enable some groove and just see how it sounds right now groove global groove is enabled this one, it has a shuffle, uh, kind of a disabled, you know, shuffle, not groove. Uh, I'm going to go and play it. And this is what we get. I'm going to just do no accent for now. Now, of course, it sounds much different. Let me just play again. And this is depends on what you want to do. Now, we are doing a lot of shuffle. Maybe we just want to a little bit. It's just very, very different. So, uh, of course, the shuffle will work 
not just on percussive material. It's just not only for that. You can use it for this kind of, uh, you know, arrangement, this kind of clips, arps, or chords, or even, you know, even leads. You can use them for that. You know, for that. I'm gonna go back to this example, and I'm gonna show you something else. Right now, we are doing the global shuffle. So everything we do right here, we need to enable or disable or do the, uh, you know, do the accent and we do it, but we do it on a more global kind of a way. We enable and disable it globally. But what if you want to uh, just do it uh, on the scope and you don't want to, you know, go and toggle on and off. You just want to do it right here. So you have a second option, which is going to be the quantize. So whenever you select all the, all the, uh, all the notes on the MIDI clip, you will get this quantized and you have two modes, the grid mode, uh, the editor mode and the custom mode. So the editor mode is going to is going to uh, kind of uh, do it for you since it's going to recognize that you're doing a 16 and you do a little bit of shuffle It's going to do that shuffle for you. And notice that it's moving the ones we know that needs to be moved closer to the next one. And the difference is not notice that this one, it's just not longer with a global shuffle. This one is just, you know, a bit longer. And this is because we are using a quantize. It will respect the grid that you're using. So if I play this, it sounds like, you know, what we want. It sounds like that shuffle we were getting from the, from the groove, from the, you know, the global shuffle. But this is a different way of, you know, getting that shuffles kind of a sound. Now, let me go back. Uh, there we go. And again, you have different options. The editor, again, it's just going to do it for you. Now, the custom, you can do pretty much what we've been doing with the other one. You need to go and manually select with what, with what material you're working with. If we do 1.8, you know, we are going to get the, 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 that, that other thing, that the other kind of sound. If we do 1.16, and, you know, we're going to get what we wanted. Now, the shuffle right here, it's super aggressive. It's just much more aggressive than the other one. And right now, we are not doing uh, triplets. We are doing straight, right? So... If I do 100% shuffle and I do 116 because I know that we are working with a 116 clip and I shuffle it, notice how aggressive it is. And it's going to sound, you know, very different. Which is crazy. It's a bit too much. So whenever you do it like this, just be, be, be careful and do a little bit. You don't need to go crazy. Now, remember that I've told you whenever you go up, you know, let's say you have a 116, and you was want, want to do a 132 shuffle, uh, you know, nothing is going to happen. I'm going to go and do it, and nothing is going to happen because those notes are not here, right? You don't have, you know, you don't have that. So, when, remember, of course, that if you go up, if you have a, you know, a 116 and then you go up, nothing is going to happen. But if you have a 116 and you go lower, it's going to really change because you do have, uh, you know, those notes. And if I'm going to go and do OK, Notice it's just pretty much modifying the entire clip. Now, maybe you're thinking, okay, so this is wrong. We are going to, you know, go back and just do it again. So this could be something that you can use for experimentation. Maybe you need some variation and you need to do something radical or just, just change it and see what happens just to get something different. You can try different modes, different shuffles, and you also get the humanized, which is going to, kind of a move the notes in a more human kind of a way. Because, you know, humans don't play the same note the same way every single time. You know, there's no, they're not snapped to the grid. That's not how it sounds naturally. So, for example, if I go to 116 and I do a 50 shuffle or maybe a 30, it would be enough. And I do humanize and I do something like this. It's a, you know, a little bit more inconsistent. So let me see if I can give you an example. So notice it's, it is moving. It's doing what we know it should do. But notice that these notes are not snapped to the grid. And this is kind of a that human behavior. Some notes are going to be rushing. Some notes are going to be dragging. That's how humans are. And this gives a very kind of a human kind of a sound. Because you get mistakes. It's not perfect. And that's awesome. You know, that's how it should sound or how we perceive music. If everything is super perfect, we feel, we feel that it's fake. All right, so cool. So this is, this is how you use it. You can go do it on a global. You can enable or disable. You can enable accents. You can do accents, of course. Or you just can go right here, grab whatever you want from here and do the quantize 
and then just be happy about it. All right, so hopefully you like this one. You find it useful. Now you know what the uh, what the sh shuffle is and how to use it. It's not something that you use the whole time, uh, but sometimes you want to just try it and do a tiny, tiny little bit and see if it you know it makes your productions a little bit better. If it sounds a little bit, a little bit more special. If it doesn't, don't don't you know don't worry about it. You know, it just disable and use it the way it was. All right. So hopefully you like this. Remember, of course, to like and subscribe. Remember to check Patreon and uh, see you on the next one.